is going on guys? Welcome back to Legit Looks for Life and welcome back to another episode of Thrift Flips. Today I'm going to be coming in this thrift store, seeing if I can find any steals and deals, any heat, and seeing if I can flip it for a profit. At the end of the video we will show how much profit we made for the day, so stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you do, make sure to subscribe and hit up that thumbs up button. Let me know if you guys want to see more. Let me know if you guys want to see an episode of Ross or, or Marshalls or Nike Outlet or anything like that. But let's hop into the thrift store. It is super early and this is actually the first time that I come before thrift store opens in my city San Antonio so we here at 9 it is 8 56 it opens in four minutes you guys know I want this so bad and I'm gonna get it guys so let's do this this video is brought to you by catbeast.com design your own custom snapbacks and hats first up we have this dope nautica one and this one's 17 dollars has a nautica on the side pretty sick this Kansas City logo 7 right here this one is 13 dollars I really wish I could buy this kind of stuff for the site but I know my audience isn't really into like clothing like this, so that's why clothing has never done well for me, guys. That's why I never pick it up anymore. Cause like I used to get really dope clothing, but you guys never seem to have picked it up. So I think like sneakers work the best for me on my website. This sweet Washington Redskins by a uh, NFL Pro Line the starter. Like I said, guys, if y'all guys will start purchasing this stuff, man, I'll start buying it, guys. I just don't want to purchase it and then it's just sitting there at home. So the first thrift shoe game was super dry, but we're here at uh, Thrift City, and we're going to check out what they have. It's still early, so. So the only thing pretty much in the man section that is, you know, worth looking at is these diamond turfs that are orange. These are going to be $12.99, however, they are pretty dirty and beat. Um, not something that I would necessarily see myself flipping. Especially like I don't know I just haven't got into turfs yet so if I'm not 100% sure of it then bad investment because you definitely do not need a bunch of shoes sitting at home that's what I sometimes used to be doing is I used to just buy it just because I thought it was cool and I would try to sell it but got to do more research before you learn to sell and like I'm just being 100% completely honest with you guys because if I made this thrift flips and I was telling you yeah buy this and that and this and that and I didn't have any knowledge of it then wouldn't I be tricking you and wouldn't that be bad so I'm just being 100% honest with you guys for your benefit so yeah guys I would definitely have to do more research about these before I tried to flip them got these Jordan crimson threes in the kids section for ten dollars kids shoes never did too well for me guys honestly kids are always growing and they just never did well for me so I'm gonna have to pass on these Cool find though. So while these kicks are pretty cool, man, um, they kind of look like the old Spurs colorway, especially with that orange, pink, and blue, which is why I think they're probably like somebody caught them. But they're $13 in here, but they're going for like $25 on eBay, and these things are honestly pretty beat. So there's probably no way that I can flip these, to be honest with you guys. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to pass on those. So I would say that this is a major come up. However, these things are fake. You can just feel that they're fake. Like you can straight up feel it. This is way too way too fat right here and this is just falling down everywhere yeah guys this is like super fake but anyways too bad I know we haven't found anything too crazy yet guys but it's a hunt guys it's a hunt that's one of the things you gotta learn is patience is key and you gotta hit up a lot of spots you're not just gonna find the gold right away I know last time we got really lucky but you're not gonna find anything that you want right away guys you have to search for it and that's the thing about going thrifting is it's a hunt and that's what really makes it fun at the end of the day so since this new series that I'm starting is called thrift flips I want to give you guys a little bit of knowledge about this about sneakers and stuff so those infrared sixes when I first went in they look normal they look like normal shoes and I'm pretty sure like a regular person and would be fooled that they are authentic but one of the things you got to learn about you know flipping shoes and buying them from the thrift is that you guys have to know like you have to be able to tell what a fake is like and then what an authentic shoe is like see those were like straight out fake I could tell right away when I touched them but when I first saw them I I, I could have been fooled you got to have knowledge about you know fakes and there's just a lot to learn guys there's a lot to learn and especially if you're new to this thing especially if you're new to thrifting maybe you're not in it to flip maybe you're just in it to you know thrift and uh you just gotta just gotta be very careful you know knowing what is authentic and what is not because it can go from you know something being worth 200 300 dollars to something being worth nothing because it's fake you know so yep so let's go hit up a next spot let's get to it yo guys just step into this pawn shop and i'm gonna throw it in this thrift flips video just because I mean, it is used stuff, so $30 for these tins. Y'all, this could be a pretty good, pretty good flip. I mean, yeah, they're kind of used, but they're Jordan tins. Yellow, bottom's yellowed, so I probably wouldn't be able to sell them for like extremely more, but these would probably still be a good flip either way, just because they are Jordan tins. Um, something like this probably wouldn't go for too much because, first of all, it's $70, which is a lot of money. And the pawn shop probably priced it at $70 because of the condition. But these aren't that hyped, so I mean it would take a lot longer to sell than it would the tens. 
Let's see what else they have in here. These I know have been in here for a while, but they're, they're asking too much for these. Some Jordan 7s we have in the back. The French Blue 7s for $30. Wow. And as you guys can see at pawn shops, they go down over time. That's dope. So we got a pair of the Jordan 7s. And here are these French Blues. These are going to have to be a must cop, as well as these 10s. And then on the bottom, they have some LeBron 12s. They're asking... $60 for these. 60 might be a little bit pushing it on these, but um, still gotta look these up to see how much they're worth. And then down here you got some more 12s, and these are 120, so these are gonna have to be a definite pass because probably won't be able to make more than that on these. Okay guys, exiting that store with two pairs of Jordans. We'll look into them and how much profit can be made on them once we head back to the house, but let's continue with this thrift shopping adventure. This next thrift is pretty dry guys, but they do have these Stefan Janowskis, but they do not have laces. There's only one shoe. <laughs> this is a pretty cool Adidas tracksuit top right here for $13. It says as is, so there must be something wrong with it, but that's clean. Yo, this Starter Indiana right here for $15. Wow. Got this Nike one too as well. Pretty cool. $20. So I just came across a pretty good find, I would say. It's a... It's a brand new vintage jersey, so I believe it's vintage, but let's look at it well, as soon as we get home. Let's go ahead and go over there now so we can show you guys the funds for today. All right, guys, and that's going to have to be a wrap from today's thrift flips. Let's go ahead and get into the pickups because I know a lot of you guys are really anxious to see. So without further ado, let's see what I picked up today. So as you guys know, thrifts have been kind of dry today, to be honest, when it comes to sneakers. Now, sneakers usually do the best for me, but unfortunately, the thrifts are pretty dry for me today. However, the pawn shop did come through today. We found these pairs of these French blue sevens. Now, these are a little bit beat, and you know, they are semi-beat, and you know, there is some paint coming off right there on the toe box. Uh, they're a little bit dirty. However, I did manage to pick these things up for only $30 at the pawn shop, when in my opinion, is a steal. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Tim, how are you even gonna make a profit off of these? Let me show you the other shoe. So as you guys can tell, these shoes are pretty dirty. They're not in the best condition and they're definitely not dead stock, but I did get them for $30, which is an upside. Now, what I plan to do with these sneakers is I do plan to repaint them. Repainting them isn't that hard. You just gotta get the Angelus Direct starter kit or some white paint and paint them back up to life. And so that's what I'm gonna do to prepare the sneaker to sell it for even more, make a profit off of it. What I also am going to do is I'm going to give this a good deep cleaning with my crepe and hopefully after that, it will be in good condition. The paint doesn't look like it's too bad on the sides. It's just kind of like the white scuffs in the front. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. Now, if I am lucky, I might be able to push these for $50, which isn't a bad price at all. I know that it's not a huge profit, but it is something, especially since we bought them for $30. And probably maximum that I'll push is probably 60, but I think if I stay around the 50 to $60 range, I think I can make my profit from there. Because I probably wouldn't be able to sell them for higher just because these things aren't even that hyped in the first place. And then second of all, they are semi-beat, just a little bit. So if I get a 20 to $30 profit, I'll be pretty happy with that. So an overview of the shoe, I bought it for $30. If I sell it for $60, I'll make a $30 profit off of this sneaker. Next up, our second pawn shop pickup from today are these Bob Cat 10s, which I also purchased for $30. Now these are pretty much in about the same condition as the sevens. You got a little bit of scuffs, a little bit of paint coming off, which will be great for a repainting job. The condition of them isn't too bad, but I am not going to be able to sell them for the maximum price that I would have been able to if they were in better condition just because, you know, they're not in the best condition. They're, they still are okay, but they're not in the best condition. And something that you guys got to know about is an impulse buy. See, I didn't really find anything today and I'm kind of scared to be honest with you guys to be completely 100% true with you guys. I kind of feel like these might have been an impulse buy just because I'm not really sure how much of a profit I can make off of these, you know. I might be able to make $45, $50 max off of these, maybe even $60. But sometimes, guys, we have impulse buys. I wasn't finding anything. I saw these. I said, let me take them. You got to be very, very patient and you have to just analyze every part of the shoe and you just have to make sure that you know what you're buying before you buy it. But still, $30 for these, especially if you're gonna rock for yourself and you're not gonna flip, that's an amazing steal of a deal for these tens. So I did pick up these two retros at the thrift, but there also is another pickup that I wanna show you guys. So in the last thrift, I actually did pick up something very, very cool that I'm really excited to show you guys. However, I didn't wanna like make a big scene there at the thrift, but when I went to the thrift store, I found this 
dead stock, brand new with the tags, Mighty Ducks jersey from the NHL. This is a vintage starter in a size large, extra large. Now, I have had this one in the past, however, it was used, but just because it has all of the tags there, it has even the original tags, and it's a very, very old school. As you can see, back in the day, this went for 60, and then you have the NHL tag right there, and you have the starter tag as well. Now, vintage clothing usually does really good, especially if it's jerseys and stuff. So I was curious, and I looked up how much this would be worth. Keep in mind, I purchased this for only $20 at the thrift store. I was looking online, I saw prices from like 100 to 175, 200 for this exact jersey so this one is the win for today you know you might not always make your money off of sneakers sometimes you might have to come and get it off of clothing but if I bought it for $20 I could sell it for $120 that is a hundred dollar profit from this jersey alone I think that's a win for the day so keep in mind it's not always gonna be sneakers you might have to look at the clothing which is what I'm gonna do oh also I didn't show you guys these little patches down here starter Western Conference it's a really dope jersey honestly and if I wasn't in it you know to flip I would definitely love to keep this for myself but I re I've already had another Mighty Ducks jersey so from all the items today getting a $30 profit from the French Blues getting a $20 profit from the Bobcats and getting a hundred dollar profit from the Mighty Ducks jersey I made a hundred and fifty dollars in profits from today's thrifting thank you guys for watching I hope you guys are enjoying this episode of thrift Flips. If you guys want to see more, if you guys want to see the restoration process, I don't know what you guys want to see, let me know, but I'm going to keep pumping out these videos. I'm going to keep pumping out these steals and deals. Hey, if you guys are wanting the, to find these steals to keep them for yourself, hey, that's even better, man, because I'd rather find something that I have for my collection than for a quick flip because I think it's really dope when I find something that I really enjoy from the thrift, especially for the price that I find it in. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a very blessed day. Make sure you guys thumb up the video if you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Peace, homies. Stay blessed. We're out of here.